Good afternoon to all the judges on today's panel. Hello everyone. We are from Starkus Engineering Works. We are an automobile manufacturing solution provider. We started our company seeing the business opportunities in this sector which had many problems that we intend to solve. While we are manufacturing our ATV, we found out that there was a lack of reliable advanced technology and most of the MSMEs were stuck in industry 2.0 phase. And there was acute shortage of skilled laborers. Also, there is set material seller monopoly and mistrust regarding the genuinity. There is also the high certainty due to the long lead times and material unavailability. So why us? Sarkas Engineering Works provide one-stop solution for the manufacturing of the vehicles with the reliable and skilled manpower to provide a fast response time. There is no minimum order and we provide the standard rates for the special part. And with the Industry 4.0, we can provide large variety of operations with the optimum quality. Moving forward, now let me introduce to you my team. Sahil Singh as the CEO, Shubham Moria as the CTO, Yash Ansora as the COO, and Tanmay Salanke as the CMO. We are the four founding members of the Starkus Engineering Works. Now let me tell something about us. We are a startup focused on creating marketplace to deliver manufacturing solutions and material procurement for motorsport concentric teams and startups. Becoming the successful startup of one-stop solution company is our main motive. The mission of our company is to deliver better future to next generation with same excitement and experience and safety of traditional manufacturing. The vision of our company is to be leading startup for with an aim to develop and maintain a world-class products of services for the Indian market. Moving forward. For our initial target market is Mumbai-based student teams, and we would also be manufacturing for various automobile startups. The contribution of student teams is more in the initial stage, but gradually we will be shifting our focus towards the industries. Marketing moving forward. Now let us uh, talk about our marketing strategies. Marketing plays an important role in growth of any enterprise. So our marketing strategies include publishing engineering blogs similar to the engineer and interesting engineers, etc. We also intend on sponsoring motorsports event and teams. We would also conduct workshops and exhibitions in colleges and other institutes. Our strategy to our strategy also includes promotional marketing strategy by providing referral codes and coupons also advertising by flyers posters stickers and merchandise sorry uh, now coming towards this year's our revenue projection in the first half of 2020 our total revenue generated was 259440 and our second half of 2020 revenue projection will be estimated over 5 lakhs. Now the escalation of second half revenue projection is possible because of our tie up with EV startup called Sonai. So Sonai is an EV startup which is founded in the year 2020. In the first half, we have already supplied them with material for the prototyping phase. And further, we have signed a contract of manufacturing of 50 chassis which will be delivered uh, in the second half of 2020. Now coming towards the future predictions of our company. Now the financial future predictions would be, so in the year 2023, our revenue projections would be around 1 crore. In this, 60% would be contributed to startups and 40% would be contributed through uh, various uh, student teams. And in this, uh, and in this year, uh, sorry, in the next uh, year, that is 2024, our revenue projections would be around 1.6 crores and wherein it would be 75% contributed through startups and 25% would be contributed through student teams. Now the sudden boost in the revenue is possible due to the partnership with Sonai 
and also we have finalized our deal with d express which is a commercial ev startup which produces two wheelers and we are also in talks with pola electrics for the further expansion now moving forward now for the further expansion of our business uh, with automobile stop, uh, automobile startups we offer you and 10% of equity in exchange of 1.5 crores of our company so the 1.5 crore that we are asking will be utilized towards the expansion of our company and uh, acquiring advanced machineries which would cost around 55 lakhs and around 25 lakhs would be invested in the inventory so uh, moving forward that would be continued by chuba moria so for any business there are potential outcomes which are evidently worst case scenario a realistic scenario and a best case scenario so our worst case scenario would be that we are still dealing with only student teams and generating revenue of about 25 lakhs to 30 lakhs our best case scenario would be that we become market leaders with 100 crore plus in yearly yearly revenue our but our business is based around realistic scenario that is we become uh, we we become a business who generates 2 to 3 crore of yearly uh, revenue uh, next please to help us analyze what a company does best now and to devise a successful strategy of the future we need we have performed a swot analysis so we found out that our strengths are a huge network as a result of motorsports history also ever evolving automobile industry and its ever increasing demand moving toward our weaknesses due to the pandemic the growth of the automobile industry suffered a huge hit and also there are low margins in this sector so to gain a profitable business a mass production technique is required our opportunities are making strategic alliance with the potential customers the current situation of the market is unreliability of the product and we consider this as an opportunity talking about the threats intense competition due to existing players in the market is one of the threats and also industrial hazards like industrial accidents is also one of the threats to our business uh next please so coming towards our deep dive topic so let us consider a situation where a company faces a challenge that vehicles produced by any company are facing an engine overheat issue resulting in poor performance and driving discomfort so uh, our take towards the problem would be in two parts which are technical and brand building so technical counter would include grevian's redressal port portal on our website so that is a special section for grevian's redressal from where the customers would lodge their complaints and issues towards our company we would also schedule a recall for the problematic vehicles we would offer them retuning of the ecu for reducing the in engine overheating and also increase the performance and riding comfort we would replace the radiator fans with a bigger one if necessary and continue our r&d on cost effective methods for reducing the issue the damage control measures would include brand building techniques by sincere apology and acknowledgement of the issue and running marketing campaigns to reassure customers about our brand's reliability we would also conduct rigorous testing and conduct third party technical audits so this was our deep dive topic i would request tanmay to show our website uh, also we, where we can show uh, the uh, uh, we can show the customer portal from where the customers would uh, lodge their complaints so this is our website from where uh, from where any customer is able to place their orders and uh, know about our company and also our uh, history so similarly uh, we can see there is uh, an uh, about there is an uh, grievance section on the top in the contact us, contact us section from where uh, it is uh, anyone is able to contact our company and we are also seeking funding 
to improve uh, to improve and better manage uh, our web portals and i'll hand over further to uh, tanmay so the investors are you interested in joining the hands with us we as a starkas engineering works welcome you thank you thank you team uh, before we say anything to your uh, investment proposal we would like to know more of, on these points uh, most of the things you have covered uh, for us and you explained very well just let me know for how many years you are already in the market i mean which year you established in sir i would like to take this question so uh, actually we started our business in this very year so previously we, uh, as we are a motor sports team we used to gather uh, means purchased our material in bulk for, uh, by contacting various teams so that way we used to like uh, get discounts but this year we thought of uh, making it a professional thing and uh, starting up a company so from this is the first official year for uh, starting up a business okay do you have any idea of your competitors how many competitors are there in your maybe uh, state uh yes sir uh, we have actually prepared a list uh, that is uh, if uh, yes uh, you can uh, say about that uh yes sir uh, sir so for the market that we are going to step in uh, in mumbai region itself there are about four to five big uh, big players uh, that are running uh, the market right now and other than mumbai uh, there are players that uh, that are from indore jabalpur jalandhar uh, delhi noida gaziabad etc these are not in mumbai but uh, due to their uh, vast uh, network they are also dealing in mumbai so uh, we are planning on setting up our base in mumbai itself in rabale okay so have you analyzed their market cap based in i mean uh, if we deal in mumbai if we deal mumbai and nearby teams so do you uh, i mean did you make any analysis of their market cap and the possibility of your uh, business uh sir i would like to take that question sir actually uh, the reason why we have started this business is actually our end goal that is uh, meeting up the uh, so the real thing is uh, we have to sir uh, make a company that uh, that is a manufacturing company which we would manufacture for the uh, upcoming sta startup so this uh, the reason why we are starting up with teams is that we first of all build an connection with the teams and gather information about them and it is the trust building that we are doing uh, so that eventually uh, one day or the other the members of the teams would eventually get placed in a startup or have their own startup so which would definitely benefit us and uh, the market capital uh, market of our uh, start uh, of actually the manufacturing segment automobile manufacturing segment is about 80 billion dollars so in which around 5% contributes towards the upcoming startups so it is around sir 4 billion dollars of uh, market so which is the real potential where we want to actually get in uh, sir i would But like I'm to i'm talking about the current situation i mean what is your stake i mean what is your scope at at present uh, sir i would like to continue sail statement uh, mm -hmm. sir being a uh, being a motor sports team uh, coming from a motor sports team we had a uh, we had a uh, background idea about what is the market because we had to roam in the markets to get the things for ourselves also so we uh, we know that what types of difficulties we faced during the manufacturing of our uh, atv so we intend on stepping into the market with the solutions of this problem only and not and i am not saying that uh, other t other uh, companies are not provi providing the solutions sir uh, usually what it takes that if there is a beginner team then uh, there is uh, means the team members have no idea of certainly how much that uh, product may cost or what is the machining cost or uh, it is uh, all up to the companies that are providing the services so usually sir what happens that uh, if let us consider an example if one uh, one piece is uh, is to be machined and they are giving a cost around of 2500 for that job itself including the material 
and the job actually uh, can, uh, the making cost of that part is only around eight eight hundred to nine hundred. Then this is a blind uh, blind side for the team. So we intend on uh, decreasing this gap and being honest to our customers and not uh, only customers. As being a motorsports team, we have our uh, connections in motorsports team as well. So we intend on uh, providing solutions with uh, better uh, feed rates and uh, reasonable and standard rates. All right. Now my next question would be uh, about uh, your investment. Um, can you open that slide, please? That proposal. Okay. Uh, so uh, you are looking for how much? Sir, one point five CR. One point five CR, and uh, in return you are giving twenty five percent. Ten percent equal. 10%, 10%. 10 okay, but uh, we are willing to invest way more than what you are asking, but we want the decision making capability in the company. Uh, actually, sir, uh, I would like to take that question, yes. sir. Uh, as you can see, that uh, we have 25% equity in our businesses, uh, each founder. So each founder has also invested their own money in the company. That is around 1.2 to 1.4 crores uh, of the total funding. So we uh, we have started this business. Uh, uh, we have started and we are operating this business uh, with this funding. And also uh, we have a very huge net uh, network uh, with the clients and also the manufacturing providers due to our history. So we can, we can see that uh, so you can also see that we uh, we have the uh, we can say the uh, main objectives that are required main objective and means of running the business. So we think and also only our fund requirement is about 1.5 CR as for as you can see for purchase, purchasing some machineries uh, inventory and uh, inventory and machineries and others uh, other minor costs. So okay, what is uh, the valuation your of your company? Sir, current valuation is uh, 15 crores. How did you do that? Uh, sir, we uh, we understood the potential of our networks networks, and also uh, we have we had assets of, how or, much, of our company. How much how much business have you done? Uh, I mean, what was I would the like so far? To, uh, I would like Sile to uh, answer that question. Sir, for, uh, since it is just six months that we are into the business, sir, uh, we have uh, actually made uh, around 2.56 uh, lakh rupees of business currently. But, sir, uh, there is also that uh, since now we have signed a deal with Sonai and also D Express, and uh, we are also in talks with various startups, this is also a main reason for an increase in our value, uh, company's value, sir. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, 